Well, hello there, Forge of Empire fans. I'm creating this video as a communication device between myself and members of a guild in S-World. I'm doing this because I believe good communication is a smart way to play this game. An incident happened earlier in which a member of this particular guild decided to snipe me. It's my 36th day of playing in S-World. As you can see in the profile, it says, play Forge of Empire for 35 out of 365 days. And let me show you where the snipe occurred. The snipe occurred on my arc. The arc is at level 58. Cool Whip placed 1.95 rate of 1,853 forge points. Second place at 1.95 is 926. But this particular person, V. Du Blue, decided to snipe and rob me of 226 forge points. Because he can. Okay, I have no idea how many days he's been playing in S-World, but he and I happen to be in the same neighborhood because he is in Iron Age like myself. The reason I am in Iron Age is because my city is relatively new, five weeks. The reason he is in Iron Age is because he is unable to advance to higher ages and play the game as well as he can at this particular age. Here's what I mean. Where I to go to my neighborhood, you will see in my neighborhood currently is listed as the second highest member with 4.9 million points of the game. So, we can see his great buildings. Nothing really to speak of, you know. Stat Statue of Zeus and level 11. Temple of Relic, level 6. His Ark, level 81. Lighthouse of Alexandria, level 4. Alcatraz, level 11. Tower of Babel, level 5. And... Chateau Frontenac at level 39. I'm very surprised at a guy who... S-World has been around for more than eight years because I started eight years ago on Christmas Day in a different world. At the time, S was already in existence. So I know it's been around for a long time. Now, maybe he only started a year ago or two years ago. I don't know. I think if I were to get a hold of a copy of FOE Helper on a PC, it might give me that information. I'm not sure. I haven't used it. But let's go take a look at this guy's city and see what condition he actually is and how good is his knowledge of the game. Okay, so he's obviously farming for wishing wells, the master of which is Neutral Fool, who is a friend of mine, and in a few minutes I'll show you his city which he has 
on almost every world, all 20, I think there are 26 or 28 worlds in the U.S. server now. I'm not sure, because there's a Q, there's no Q world. I'm not sure if there's another one, so that's 24 worlds. And then there's A, B, C, D of the second uh, version. Okay, so he really doesn't have much in his city. Okay, and of course, if you look at the layout of the city, you can tell that his number of expansions is pretty limited because he doesn't really know how to play the game. He thinks he knows. He knows something. He knows how to put wishing worlds down, and he probably spent a lot of time because the game has evolved where they make it very difficult for you to accumulate wishing wells. So he might be getting one or two wishing wells a month. And how many wishing wells does he have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. By my count, he's got 43. And notice, most of his wishing wells, no, not most, half, I think, are full size, which is 3x3, three three, versus the reduced, which is a 2x3, which take up 6. And what do I mean by he's not very good at what he's doing? Well, let's take a look in Nutrifool. So this is Nutrifull. Let's go visit his city. Off the top of my head, I would say Nutrifull has 220 to 230 wishing wells in his city. And so, as now you can see it. You're more than welcome to count. As you can see, Nutriful is really a master at creating, and he has a city like this in every server. Pretty sure at least 24, if not more. The only exception is D, in which he designed it, because originally Nutriful was the number one player in D World, which is where I started. And I think in the last world he did not set up a city in, no, in Dillon he did set up a city, I don't remember, but anyway, Nutriful is very, very good uh, and well-known master of creating wishing well farms. Okay, so getting back. So this particular person, I'm not sure why he decided to snipe me, but he maybe wants to make a point that, you know, he can be an asshole and he wants to prove that he's good at being an asshole. Okay. Uh, I believe that when a person belongs to a guild, the guild is partially responsible for their actions because the guild enables them to act the way they do. In my way of looking at the way the game is played. So, I highly recommend to this particular player and all the guild members that he plays with in this world and in every other world on the United States server with this account. Don't fuck with me, because you have no idea what my skill set is. You have no idea what I can do to you within the game, and the rest I leave 
to your imagination. Now, he's got a guild called Only for Diamonds. These are the, he's number four on the list. I guess they're all in the number one. I oh, know number one is Vespa with 42 million points. And number two is, I don't know, IHTV. No idea what these names stand for. But there's 31 members. I have taken the liberty of writing to all 10 top members of this particular guild. And basically what I wrote to them, I will share with you as well. And this is basically what I wrote to them. So, having said all that, having created this video, I'm now going to post it to my channel. Thank you very much for your time and attention.